Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be going over the fourth chapter of the Christmas event and it is going to be Stolen Weapon. We did get a little bit of a teaser of what we can expect as the reward in this event in chapter 3 but let's go over the details on what we have to do to get our hands on what could potentially be a very influential weapon on an attack team and you're very unlikely to ever get the chance to get it again. Breaking down the intro details, it says Road to Christmas Chapter 4. It has the event times as follows. It starts on the 27th of December at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And it ends on the 4th of January at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Which means the event will last just about a week in total. And once this ends, pretty much all of it ends, I believe. I think the entire Christmas event will pr pretty much be over, done and dusted. If we read through the intro information, it says the final chapter on the road to Christmas will reward players' progress on Gregory Grouch and reward Gov ornaments and Negan ornaments. The more you've upgraded Gregory Grouch, the more rewards you will receive for running the stolen weapon roadmap. The last stage of each act will also drop additional Gov and Negan ornaments at three times the drop rate as the last stage of the previous act. An example here says stage five of act two could drop 10 Negan ornaments, but stage five of act three would drop 30. Um, I, I guess it's not gonna work like that because stage five of act one would have to drop 3.33. <laughs> but anyway, Negan ornaments and so on. The more you've upgraded Gregory Grouch, the more you can progress through the stolen weapon roadmap and swipe the grand prize weapon. Collect Negan and Gov ornaments to use in the Christmas Grey Market and progress through the Stolen Weapon missions which reward Armory Tokens, Varnish, Engine Grease and an exclusive 5 star weapon, Gabriel's Sapping Pistol. And if you didn't see the pistol previously, this is the weapon as you can see on the left hand side. It is a 5 star weapon from the get go. It has 35% attack, a medium bonus to AP when attacking. In the third slot it has AP down when attacking, a better chance to cause minus 30 AP to the enemy, but more importantly it has alert attacks. At the start of each of this character's turns, all other teammates get 10% attack for one turn for each alert teammate on the team. This is exactly like a strong attacks weapon, so this is where it could be very important. You can't craft this weapon, you could make more of an alert based team and still get a huge damage output because of that. And that's actually kind of nice. There are some heavy hitters. You know, you've got Shiva who's just been released, but there is also other characters that have turn one signature moves that would get a 40% attack boost on a heavy alert team. So this weapon could work very nicely in certain game modes as well. Challenge run, it's going to work perfectly. It is also worth noting on the art of Gabriel himself, it is the pistol he's holding in his hands. Just a light, nice little light link there. It's the exact same pistol visuals that you see on Gabriel. Not that I think Gabriel is the best character to use this weapon in the game, but it is those visuals. Now we've got some information on the roadmap and it says stolen weapon missions. As you can see for completing all the missions, complete all submissions, you'll be rewarded with Gabriel's sapping pistol. To reward, you know, get all through the rewards, you have to get gov ornaments. You'll get the armory tokens as you can see. And then once you've got 35,000 Gov ornaments, you also have to get a certain amount of Negan ornaments. It's going to be 4,000 Negan ornaments in total. They drop on the roadmap. You can get them from farming. And like I said, the, the higher act that you actually farm, the more rewards you're going to have drop on the droppable stages. But you can only go up to a certain act based on the how upgraded your Gregory Grouch is. So that one roadmap will be you know, grade 5, the next one could be LB1, so on and so forth. There's also going to be a Christmas Grey Market, and this is where you can use those ornaments. I think it will work probably like most events do, where once you have received the ornaments, they will be tracked permanently, and then you can just spend them freely. You can get Gov's Gift Box for 3,000 Gov ornaments, or you could get Gov's Gift Box for 2,250 if you are part of Survivors Club. Same with Negan Gift Box, you can get the Gift Box for 600 and then you could get the Survivors Club exclusive for 450. There are varying amounts of each, so it's five for each of the Survivors Club ones, 10 for the Negans, and 15 of the Gov gift boxes. And the gift box contents are as follows. You can see that the gift boxes for Gov have one of the following in them. Blowtorch, Random Silver, Random Platinum Mod, Bernadette, Benedict, Basil, well, 10 Basils, 20 Bradys, 50 Berts, a million food, and 10 Elite Weapon Tokens. It's going to be Random, which one you get out of the Gov ones. 
And it will be random what you get out of the Negan ones as well, but there'll be slight improvements on ter in terms of what the sort of things you can get in here. 1,000 gold mythic recruit tokens, blow torches, varnish, random platinum mod, Lilith, Ulysses, Madeline, Maddox, 100,000 military supplies, and 500,000 materials. Again, completely RNG what you get. You could open 10 and get 10 Liliths, you know, it's just the way it goes. Okay, so we have got some information on the Stolen Weapon Roadmap. It does require you to have World Energy to run the majority of the stages. And you can see on the right-hand side, you are going to be getting Gov Ornaments and Negan Ornaments for completion bonuses on the stages and the Act. You obviously get 100 for the Gov for completing all the stages, and then you get 10 of the Negan for completing the Act. This doesn't have any Gregory Grouch requirement just yet, but that's where the Gregory Grouch requirement will come in at act two you have to have at least a grade four and you can see you're going to get improved amounts of gov ornaments on the right hand side improved amounts of negan ornaments and it's going to cost jingle bells for the stage five but you can farm that stage over and over and over and over again and get drops and then let's say like it the example it gave was if this gives 10 the next one will give 30 the next one will give 90 the next one will give 270 the obviously the cost of the jingle bells will go up as well so if we you know check act three grade five minimum the eight jingle bells but you are going to get three times as many on the rewards so it definitely is worth farming the higher one as possible uh, next one would be lb1 you're going to get more ornaments on the right hand side for first time completion and then you can obviously farm that last stage for 15 here but it's just under two times the cost but you are going to be getting three times the drop as the previous act. And then the same thing will be said for the next one. Probably 25. There we go. 25. And you're going to be able to farm this again for three times the rewards of the previous act. And then lastly, Limit Break 3 only act is going to cost 45. So just under two times the cost, but three times the drop rate of the previous one. And again, if you complete these, you can see you're going to get quite a nice boost. Just from completing everything once is going to give you a nice little... Uh, total of a, a few thousand gov ornaments and a couple of hundred negan ornaments now obviously as with most events it's going to come down to the drop rate honestly it's going to come down to the drop rate if the drop rate is really low you know i guess at the lower axe it is going to be pretty low at the higher axe it's going to be reasonably high it's just going to scale pretty nicely if you have managed to get yourself an lb2 lb3 uh, gregory grouch you are going to get the benefits of that Good luck if you are going to try and go for this weapon. I hope I can get my hands on it myself. This is, a, like I said, probably a one-off weapon. You can't craft it, at least for now. And it could potentially make a big difference in certain setups, especially considering we're getting a lot of strong, tanky characters on defense teams right now. But let me know your thoughts on the stolen weapon itself, the event. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.